Alrighty, live feed time. Normally when I jump on these, I'm like, I'm just gonna ramble for a bit. So if you're getting on to watch a recording, I'm gonna hook straight into it. <clears throat> Tonight, massive, massive excitement around my night, around my day, leading into this, the next few weeks. The, the point of this live feed, they're usually random, but this one here, I'm like, no. <clears throat> my title of this live feed, what do I do when I've got something to say? And I'm going to get to the point of this later in the live feed. Depending on the interaction, I speak up. I speak my mind. But I don't come from a place of aggression or attitude. It might be taken that way, and it's how it used to be. But when you're confident in yourself, you're confident in what you're doing, you're confident in what you're saying, and you've got something to say, you're going to say it. It's your truth. It's your belief. You might get knocked. You might get put down. You might get pushed aside. But if you truly believe in it, it's your belief. If it's your truth, and you've been working on that, and you want to get it out, like I say, these live feeds are usually different. I'm not going to look at the comments. Flick me some likes if you can hear. I'm pretty pumped up tonight, actually. Pretty pumped up. So flick me some likes. I've already cranked this one up. Everyone's rocking on, rocking on. If you can hear me, flick me some likes. I'm standing up on this one. I'm standing up for many, many reasons. Likes, likes, likes. Heaps of people jumping on here. Heaps of people jumping on. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Speak up when you've got something to say, people. But only if you're coming from a place where you know you're right, where you fully believe in what you're saying. Don't come from aggression. Don't come from a reaction. I say don't a lot here. Always come from your truth. When you're around the right people, when they're encouraging you to speak your mind or your truth or let something out, do it. They say it for a reason. Anyone I talk to, I say it for a reason. We get pushed in life when we hold back. Wouldn't it be better just flowing, moving forward? I'm going to take some questions in a minute. Anyone who's, anyone who's sending me messages, this happens all the time. I like cut my head off when I was looking at that there. But here's the thing, and tell me if I'm wrong. Too many people in this world hold back all their emotion because they've got something to say that they truly believe in they've been holding back on because they're fear of everyone else and what they're going to say. And you know what? That's the suppression of the world. That's what we're conditioned to do. As we grow up, we're conditioned to keep all this shit in. And this is what I'm telling you right now. You gotta speak up. I'm wearing a beast mode shirt for something here because here's the thing, we've got our retreat coming up. October retreat on the third. I'm gonna say watch this space. I said it the other day, get involved, interact, the questions, everything. And this is why I'm pumped. That's why the retreats are massive. Because we literally have to get men to commit to come to the other side of the freaking planet to open up and speak their truth. Because most of them have been fucking conditioned and suppressed to not speak their truth, to not step into their power by fucking society's bullshit from years and years of this conditioning. They literally got to go over there. And do you know how important this is? Them fucking layers that are built up. And you might wonder why I'm getting pumped up. This is how I roll. I'm doing it with a smile on my face. But tell me if I'm wrong. Any of you guys that are getting on here, or any of you lovely ladies, when we say step into your power, it's when you open up, let anything out. We all fuck up in life, but we all learn lessons. It's how we communicate them lessons is gonna help other people move forward. But this is the thing, I get super pumped when I know the retreat's coming up, because I know what's gonna happen. I know these guys are gonna be out of their comfort zone. I know they're gonna be over there with nowhere to go. They have no choice but to open up. They have no choice but to speak their truth. Imagine a world where that just happened anyway. Imagine a world where we didn't have to do retreats or personal development, where everyone was just happy and shared the love and encouraged people to speak up. Encouraged speak people to speak their truth without judgment. The problem with that is it's not gonna fucking happen. Not now. Since we're brought up, we're fucking put in categories. We're separated. You're different, you're different. You're not smart, you're smart. You're good at sport. You're shit at sport. You got glasses. You look funny. 
You wonder why all these people, they hold all this stuff back. And I see the names on here. I know you can all agree. I know with me, I was always loud. It wasn't my truth, but it was protection. Protection, this is what happens. When we're brought up and, and you are put in these categories or separated, sometimes you'll speak up and you react a certain way. And it's not your truth. It's your protection. It's your guard. I'm loud. But now I've been working on myself and I've discovered what my purpose is. I know what's in here and it's coming out. This is flow. Flow is, this is truth. Imagine the world like this where people didn't have to be told to speak their truth. Where people didn't have to watch a live feed on or listen to motor. <laughs> Internet just went down there when I went all soft and quiet, but that's pretty cool. Because it happened for a reason. You think about it, guys. Think about it. Growing up, if you went to school and you weren't judged, and I'm not talking about bullying. When you got something to say as a kid, you've got imaginations. True, we've all got dreams, imaginations when we're a kid. I've got stuff that I'm writing down now. I'm like, holy shit, I thought about that as a kid. But you spoke that up, you got put down because you were different. That happens all through life, guys. You have an idea. If you're in the wrong crowd or wrong people, they're going to judge you. You're not going to say it or you're going to get put down. Imagine a world where that didn't happen. And I always get pumped, like I say, leading into the retreats because I know there's going to be so much uncomfortableness. All this shit's going to come up from these men's past. It's going to come up. They're going to be afraid to say it. But I know the truth is in there. That's why I get excited because I know it's going to come out. I can speak from this because this is what I've been through. This is going to be my fourth retreat. It's at the core of what everything I do. It's all the work I put in behind the scenes with the team at Team Beast Mode. With everyone in better way. You guys that are on here are doing amazing too. It's all about stepping into your power and letting out that truth. Whatever it is. There's no judgment. This is the world, but they want judgment. Tell me if I'm wrong. I'm going to take comments now. Tell me if I'm wrong. Please, tell me if I'm right too. I care about judgment. I want to be judged now. I say, I'm, I am fucking pumped up. I always get this pump. Absolutely, Matty. What do we got here? Hey, Nasima. I can see the names. Hamo, how are you, bro? Tanya, superstar. Emily, another superstar. VIP, Queens jumping on everywhere. Cal, who else we got here? A to Z, Julie, how are you, Julie? Ads Mac, how are you, brother? It is, it's all truth. Truth. Spot on, Andrew, spot on. They want judgment, and this is the thing. But I get excited about the retreats, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on about the retreats, because this is where I started to learn this stuff. I was fucking 37 years old before I started to awaken to this stuff. Why do we have to wait so long in life to have a pain time or be lost? We don't have to, guys. And it's all about the people around you. You get separated at school. Go back to when you're at school. I'm not even going into bullying because that's different. This is the thing. Schools are set up this way. They teach a certain way. They teach one way. Not all of us can learn. Do you think there was like a teacher standing up there like me now doing this? Drawing pictures on the board? Having a bit of music going? That's how I learned. I didn't learn that in school. But if you couldn't learn something, you were judged. You were separated. So we hold on to that shit. Absolutely, Sam. I'm wrapped you're on too, bro. Mind controlling. But this is the thing, people. There are ways to get around this. Speaking your truth, teaching your kids or who are around you, yeah, let them say what they're going to say. When we're a kid, we come out with some crazy shit because we're working out these things. We're like, this doesn't feel right. Do we go with this? But we don't know this till we're older. We don't know until something major like a retreat comes along where you have to go in because shit's not working. You have to get a coach or a mentor because shit's not working. You're fucking sad. You're unhappy. It does not have to be this way. And the only way this changes is more of this stuff. More of people stepping into their power or wanting to find out what their purpose is. Not waiting for shit to fall out of the sky and the fucking ass to fall out of their fucking life. And then say, oh, now what do I do? When you've got no motivation for nothing except escape the fucking pain. 
And I'll be honest, a lot of the people I talk to are in pain. That was me. My pain wasn't like physical, it was in here. But here's the thing, like I say, I do, I do get excited about these things and the live feeds are cool for this. But when I come back from a retreat, it's totally different. I come back like this. Because what happens is what I see, what I hear, and what I know is that I'm doing the right thing as part of a movement. And it is, it's a movement. There's people on here. It's not one person saying this. There's other men coming through Beast Mode. There's women coming through now. There's people coming in a better way. There's coaches and mentors on here. People hear the word coach, mentor, they're like sports and all that. You can call it a life guide. You can call it whatever you want. But this is what it's about with a movement. There's so many more of you popping up and Tara's on here now. I'm glad you're on here, Tara. I'm going all quiet now. But there's reasons for this. Throw some questions at me, guys. I might even get emotional if you throw some hardcore stuff at me. I can go hardcore tonight if you want to. I'm in this sort of fucking zone because I'm pumped. I am. Before the retreat, build up, build up. Hearing all about problems, 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 problems. All right, we can do this for a problem. Solution for problem. Listen, listen, listen. Sweet. At the retreat, you got to watch the space. I'm not telling you what happens there. I always talk about it. After it, I'm back like this because I know, I know that this part of this mission that I'm on, that these other people I'm around are on, is the right way to go about life. Imagine you can go and you didn't have to go through life getting this pain and unlearn shit. Because you know what? What I'm doing here, I'm talking a lot. I'm not teaching anything. The retreats are unlearning. Unlearning all this stuff. You go to school to learn. Learn one set way. So you can carry through life one set way. And you wonder why you fucking get to a point where you're lost. You wonder why shit doesn't work. You wonder why you're stuck in a fucking circle. It's because of that. It's as simple as that. And it's not our parents' fault. It's part of it because we learn off them. But it's the schools. It's the generation before. It's all been progressive. But it can be progressively changed too. And all it takes is doing things back differently. It takes trusting in people that are speaking their truth, that are living their purpose, that know what purpose even means. Me, fucking 12 months ago, what is purpose? I don't know. This is the thing, guys. What do we got here? Does society ever get stuck into your head anymore? You always have total control. Society's always there. Society's society. Society's the world. One thing for you is if you want one solution to maybe change things up for you now, shit's not working, smash the fuck out of your TV. Seriously. Can I get some likes or loves for that? Get rid of it. Tell e vision. It tells you your visions. Shows you everything that's going wrong in the world. Movies are set up a certain way. I watch movies now and I look for clues for about the real shit that's going on in the world. But TV, news, fucking all this shit. I watched it the other day and like all you see here and I'm like, ah, I can hear the noise of it. Don't even have a TV. Awesome, man. Get a pet. Watch your fucking pet. Talk to your pet. Go do exercise or something. There's so many better things to do in life than to watch a TV, which is programmed, programmed, conditioning you in a certain way. And you might say, what's the difference between that and maybe something like this? I'm speaking my truth. Back to my point. What do I do when I've got something to say now? When I fully believe in what I'm saying? I fucking say it. And it's not to piss people off. Yes, it's to test some people. Yes, it might be to say, oh, fuck, that feels shit. That is for a reason. Why? Why does that feel shit? Why does something not feel right? Is it your belief system? What you've been brought up? Is that right? Or am I just wrong? Here's the thing. You've got to ask questions, guys. In life, you've got to ask questions. Just don't fall into that fucking pattern. Don't fall into that pattern. And the pattern's going to stop when there's pain. It will stop. But it's where you go from there. Why not ask questions before then? Ask questions from people who are speaking up. Even if it doesn't sound right, ask questions. Don't judge. Don't fall into your old ways that you brought up. People might hear me talk about people. As a coach, I talk about a lot of people. Not behind their backs. Always talking about how someone can be moved forward. Even if they've thrown a hand grenade at them. 
Even if I throw something out in a video or a live feed, it's always about moving people forward in life. That's what the world should be. Not this circle shit. Forward in life. Why should we have to wait to we're literally told by something like this, by someone in society, by something to see, to get a spark to say, hey, there's more? Why don't we already have that spark like when we're kids? Tell me, please tell me. Ant, awesome that you're on, bro. You'll love this shit. Feedback now, feedback now, guys. I'm in a cool zone. I really am. This might come across really, really, yeah, but it's what it's about. Oh, that didn't go down right. That didn't go down right. Technology's okay, Sam. It's okay. Like I say, I'm using it here. Social media is huge. What a better way to get a message out. I just dropped the better way in there. But to connect with you guys, this is huge. The connection between people is massive. Something society is losing because of technology, but it's something that's bringing us back together too if you utilize it right. I have friends right around the world now from this. From this. But I always am aiming to go and meet these people. And we all talk about how we can move the world forward. Do I think the world will change to what it should have been? I do, man. I believe it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing this. I wouldn't be just diving into every bit of knowledge and information to see how we can move people forward as a collective, as a movement. Otherwise, I wouldn't be talking right now. If you've got no, no belief in what you're saying, it's going to come out as bullshit. The universe is going to say that's fucking bullshit and just go bang. And you're not going to keep speaking it. This is the thing about speaking the truth. This shit just flows. We do. We just ta don't tap into it. We allow society to rule us. Absolutely we do. I actually knew where this live feed was going to go. I have nothing planned. I've come off a beast mode live feed talking about preparation for the retreat. And I'm just sitting there and I'm like, why? Why? Why retreats? Why, does pe why do people have to get outside their comfort zone? Why? It's because we've been fucking suppressed to be in that little bubble. Have your house. Have your fucking nine to five. Have that job you go to your fucking hate after 15 years that you might have liked. Seriously. Who likes school? Really? Serious? I went to school to play sport and I come out of school fucking getting on the piss and that. So how much did I learn from school about life? Fuck all. That's what they want. And when I say they, fuck, I'm not even going to go into detail. Because then I'm going to sound all like I've fucking lost a plot. I, I can call it aliens if you want. Let's talk about aliens. As you would have noticed lately, I just put alien emojis everywhere. No one's asked me why. Why? Why doesn't anyone ask me why? Ask questions, people. Ask questions of everything in life. And it's not about being smart. It's about gaining more knowledge. Because guess what the thing that's going to change the world? Seriously. The one thing that's going to change the world, if you want to start changing the world, knowledge, get information. And it's not all right. I dive way, way into all the YouTube stuff, social media, Google the works. I don't go to libraries. I don't even think they exist. But this is the thing. Getting information, knowledge, that's what's going to change things. Knowledge on life. I've been studying stuff from like ancient times. Serious, why not? How come they were so smart back then? How, how come all these things happened back then, but then there's this big time freeze? I just ask questions, and I get back to it. Why am I so fucking pumped? Because we got our retreat coming up in Bali, a magical place. I'm not religious. I'm not even going to start on that. If you want controlling, boom. But I am spiritual. But here's the thing. I, I simplify this. How about you just look at spiritual as becoming the best version of yourself to be able to speak your truth, to live your truth, to impact others? How about we just call it that? Yeah, do we like that? Because I lose a lot of people when I have a conversation about spiritual, just like I was lost when I got told to me 12 months ago. I'm going to have a break for a sec. Throw some questions at me, guys. The educational system is set to dumb us down, but we have a choice to unlearn and step into what we are meant to be. Spot on, Ant. We do. We always have a choice in life, guys. When we're kids, we don't. Remember this, we don't. And you wonder why you get that push-pull feeling when you grow up. You wonder why you want to rebel. You wonder why your parents are like, what the fuck is wrong with my kid? There's nothing wrong with your kids. There was nothing wrong with us. We're all kids on here. 
I get I get shot down with messages sometime when I talk about kids and children. I was a fucking kid. I can talk about how I felt. This is the thing. The people that talk say you don't have kids and you say it, wonder what's going on there. Where do they get them ideas from? They were kids too. Not all of us had fucking awesome lives, but a lot of us had great lives. But it's how we fucking reacted to things that led us in certain ways. When we got old enough to have a choice, here's the thing. When we had a... When was I? I'm going to go back to when I was. Like when I started to rebel. And I think I was like 10 or something like that. I just had all this energy. Energy for life. We are still kids. That's the thing. It's a label. Energy for life. I had this push-pull and I wanted to play it. I wanted to do this. I wanted to go out at night. I had all these awesome ideas. Blah, blah, blah. But it didn't come out right. Because I didn't know how to. I was scared. I was a little loud one. But I was angry. Just got kept in that. Sound familiar, guys? See, I see some of this bully stuff come out, and I don't know if you want me to go into that. We get separated. It's not the bully's fault. It's not them. That's how we're fucking brought up. The school separates us and puts us in them areas, them fucking different classes, if you want to call it. Smart, dumb. Sporty, not sporty. Nerd, geek, fucking whatever. Fat, skinny. Coloured, white, whatever. Fucking labels. You might see this is coming across as anger, but I'm just in the zone. This is this is my, speaking my truth and what I believe in about the world. I don't hear enough of this stuff. I would love so many more people to step up and do this. It's about what I'm about. And I go back to it. The retreat coming up. It's about, all about these men finding their purpose. If everyone could find their purpose in life, would there be all these battles... Would there be all this fucking war in the world? This control bullshit? If everyone was living their purpose, everyone has a purpose. Here's the thing. You wonder why? And this is what I used to question this. I say a category come up, and we do this big time in Beast Mode. Life purpose. Why didn't I know what that ever meant when I was 37? How many people on here know what their life purpose is? I want to know this. How many people on here? I'll be really interested to know. Especially if you're living it now. I am. I truly believe it. It might veer here, there, and there. But you wonder why I've got so much energy. I must be onto something. But why did it take till I was 37? Why? It's because that's what they want. And you would too, man. I've got to catch up on more of your stuff, man. Actually, I'm going to be in Melbourne soon. Uh, October 20, bro. SKO. We'll catch up there. I I reckon we'll have um awesome conversations if we go down this path. You work on it every day. What discovering it, Grant? Not at all. Exactly, Rob. Bring it, I say, because if they to drop to that level, good luck. Yeah, no, not really. Jimmy Button, I'm not gonna go into that man, like I say. There's a bigger picture here, guys. That's what I'm saying. Ask questions. Awesome, and we're definitely catching up, man. Definitely. Um, I'll be pumped up like this. I don't think I'll be wearing red butt. I'll be green. But here's the thing. Speak your truth. If you do not know how to speak your truth, it's probably because you don't know what your truth is. You might know what it is. You're probably listening to people around you. You think, well, I'll say what they say because it sounds cool. It's what we're brought up to do. Discovering it for sure, always one step closer to it. Retreat will be the key to my success. It is the beginning, brother. It's why we have them. It's why we're opening up our doors for women, the queens of the world. Step into their power. Do you know what I see in the world too? And this is the thing I'm noticing a lot lately. When the women speak up, they're allowed to go a little bit further. They're allowed to speak up. Does anyone know why that is? And this is just an observation from me. An observation. It hasn't changed who I am, Andrew. That's a great question, actually, man. It's just allowed me to be me. It's allowed me to unlearn all that bullshit, to grow into the best version of me, to be the best version of me. Yes, I'm learning a lot of stuff, but I unlearn all this shit I'm talking about, asking questions, how we're brought up. I unlearned all that bullshit, and I continue to unlearn it. The shit that still comes up now was from how I reacted when I was younger. And that's the truth. 
It's the one thing about having a coach and mentor like Lee Bundy. Holy shit. Do you think it's been like, do you just do this, just learn this? No. It's all about getting back these layers we were brought up with. 37 years before I started this. 38 now I've been doing it. I've been doing this for nearly 12 months. In my life, that's a short fucking time. To be able to learn how to have confidence in myself, talk about self-belief, talk about all this shit that's coming up, shit that's happened in my life that doesn't hurt me anymore, emotion. They want you to stay in that emotion, guys. I use the word they a lot. Ask questions. But back to your thing, Andrew. And you have to get to a retreat to learn this yourself, man. I say this to everyone who asks about our retreats. Everybody. Everyone. And it's not just about beast mode, guys. Here's this. I talk about beast mode because I love it. This has changed my life. But this is any personal development. Anyone who wants to move anyone forward in life. If you get the opportunity, do it. Do it. Trust people. Trust people that are laying out a path, that have got the result too. Look at their life. Model yourself on people. There's some cool people to model yourself on in the world. So don't be put off because I always talk about beast mode. It's what I'm living, guys. You're on here for a reason. I bring the truth from what I'm living in my life. But anything, if you want to grow yourself as a person, go to anyone. Learn anything. I said it before. Knowledge. Knowledge is power. Information. You're going to get different lots of information. Some of it might be true. Some of it might be stretch. Aliens. Who knows? See what I mean? But doing something to move yourself forward, to inspire others to move someone forward as well, creating that ripple effect of knowledge, of positivity, of energy, because everything in the fucking world is energy. Information. There's some cool names dropping on here. Cool names. Throw me some questions, guys. The way I am here, I'm going to be awake till fucking 3 o'clock in the morning and up at 5 to do my success prime again. Because this shit is what I'm passionate about. This is the stuff that you're going to hear so much more of. The more I learn, the more knowledge I gain, the more I believe in myself, the more I step into my power, the more I put it out there, the more you're going to fucking hear it. But here's the thing. Why do we need this? Why, why, do, why do people need to change? There's so much freaking hurt in the world, guys. You see it all the time. I went back to it before. Smash your TV. Actually, do this. No, do the opposite. Watch the news for five nights in a row. Write down what you see. Write down the feeling that takes you to when you see it. Do that. There's a cool test for you. I'd love to get some feedback on that one. Is there anyone up for that sort of challenge? If I watch the TV for like the news five nights in a row, holy crap. I don't know what I'd be thinking. I wouldn't be doing this again. I'd be too scared to be judged. I'd be thinking the world is going to friggin' explode. Like before I started traveling to Bali, I thought Bali was a bad place. I thought Bali was a dangerous place. I love that place now. The people are so nice. But I thought it was full of drug runners and like terrorists and all this sort of rubbish. And this is the thing. That's how I got my picture of the world. From the TV. From what other people said that watch the TV. What is wholeness for me? What is being fulfilled for me? I tell you what, I'm going to give you like a really specific answer, uh, Andrew. Terror. Terrorism's made up. I might get cut off for this life here if you really want to know the truth of what I believe behind that is. I don't have an end goal, Andrew. I don't have an end goal, but I'm going to go back to this before. Chrissy Tan, man, I'm going to get to that in a sec. That's deep, bro, and I'm wrapped you on here, man. Wholeness for me, man. Being the best version of me, man. Having shit in my life, and it's not about having heaps of money to do all these things. It's about having, we talk about balance and harmony. Total domination, guys. Balance and harmony. Balance and harmony, all areas. Your family life. Yeah, you can have wealth, career, but life purpose. If you're living your life purpose, I'll tell you this. You will be having balance in your life because it's what it's about. But it's a progression. You've got to go through a process. You've got to learn more. You've got to gain knowledge. You've got to unlearn all the shit. And it's continual. The world of personal development, it's continual. It's not a fucking switch, but it's a choice to start it. And there's choices along the way. Exactly, Sam. 
But that's cool. That, uh, that's that's sad, Chris. And I lost my best mate um, in the mines to suicide. I can talk about it now because I've been doing a lot of lot of work. I used to bore my eyes out and hide away from the fact about talking about it. So that, this has taken huge for you to get on here, man. And I really do, I really do appreciate you getting on there and kind words too, man. Cool. And dig into my stuff, man. If you ever want to chat, send me an inbox, bro. I'll be more than happy to chat about that stuff. To the core of what I do. So you asked before, Andrew. When I get guys like Chris I haven't seen in ages, reach out and write a message like that, and I'm able to just bring some positivity, you know, that, that's a little bit of fulfillment there. I'm making a tiny little bit of a difference just by this. There's a tip for you as all. Seriously. One little thing like that. So thank you, Chris. I really do appreciate it, man, and I'd love to chat. Serious. I don't watch the news. It's all negative and sad. Absolutely. Haven't watched the news or read newspapers for years. Only gloom, shit, never. Absolutely. It'd, it'd kill to watch it five nights in a row, wouldn't it? And imagine writing down, all right, that news story made me feel like shit. That news story, holy shit, now I'm scared to go to that country. Holy crap. How come there's so many murders in America? How, why, what's this black guy doing this for? Why is that? It's all fucking highlighted and programmed. But the feeling you get after that, of course you're going to be like, ah! I get the urge to stop watching immediately just the negative that flows through the box. Absolutely. Our input determines our output. Awesome, Emily. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to love you working in the VIP. Watch this space, Emily Jenkinson. I knew you were really switched on and just holding stuff back. This is really cool. But here's the thing, guys. This could go anywhere. This conversation could go for five hours with the same energy because this is what I'm passionate about. I don't hold back on this shit. I'm happy for people to have a dig. I'm happy for people to send me inboxes because they're too fucking scared to say it on a live stream. That's cool. If they've got the knowledge behind it and I'm wrong, I'll take that on. And I do appreciate that. Seriously. It's all about knowledge and learning. I know I said knowledge. But Team Beast Mode International Retreat, guys. Personal development in general. Any great speakers. Tony Robbins has just been in Australia. I'm going to see him one day. I'm going to go up and meet him because I am that's that confident now that I can do that. I was scared of that sort of shit before. But seriously, gain knowledge, people. Utilize things. Be around people that are uplifting, that speak the truth. You'll know they're speaking the truth. They'll speak the truth because it won't go away. They'll be a pest with the truth. That's me. That's my plan. Because I believe in what I say. But if someone knows a bit more than me, I'm going to listen to them. I'm not going to sit there and just respond and have my answer. That's why I ask for interaction on here. I'm happy for people to say, hey, wait a sec, that's bullshit. Or, wait a sec, what about this? I'm happy for that. That's why I do this. I want to learn more. Who do I learn stuff off? People that are real like yourselves. People that, that do send me the inbox that do throw curveballs at me. I'm like, holy shit, did I say that? Am I right? I'm going to investigate that more because that's the sort of shit that changes the world. Asking questions, moving people forward, asking questions of people. Why Why are you feeling like that? All right, how can we turn that around? That's what I'm passionate about. That's why the retreat coming up is huge because it's at the core of it. Total life domination, harmony, balance, peeling back the layers of all the shit that I've been talking about that's why I'm so happy that we're opening up for women as well. Beauty's in the beast next year. You wonder why I plug it so much, guys. It's because of this stuff. But I never could have done this. I could have been stuck here now if I didn't make that choice. If I didn't feel that, that urge inside. If I wasn't sick of all the bullshit in here, that the stories I was telling myself from my past, that apparently, apparently, I wasn't going to get out of them and look at me now. Like I said, Steve, positivity, it's rare where I'm from. And thanks for the acknowledging small steps, but I'm watching Moreau. Absolutely, man. You can watch but Chris, but I can move you away from it all, man. Seriously, this is what I do. This is what I'm about. This is why I've unlearned to learn. So any questions, I'm going to wind this up. October 3rd, Team Beast Mode Retreat. I head to... Oh, oh, I head to Bali next week. I'm actually going. Anyone who's on Gold Coast, Sunshine Coast, uh, Brisbane on the weekend, um, I'm going to be down there catching up with some amazing people. I don't know if you're still on your Tara. We're definitely going to catch up for a, a coffee or a green tea or whatever. I'll be more than open to anyone along the coast, but I head to Bali next week uh, with the amazing Tanya Chichi Haggard, who's my queen VIP. 
P in Better Way, who's rocking it out at Regan Hillier's Be Your Brand. See, all this stuff, personal development, guys. Speaking your truth to the world. This is what I do all the time now to gain knowledge, to learn, to pass it on to you guys, to move people forward. But any questions about what I'm doing, anything, inbox me. Watch this space. I'll get to that in a sec, Andrew. It's cool. You've got to dig through some of my videos, Andrew. Definitely, man, you'll, you'll see a lot of my story. I'm happy to put it out there. But be your brand. Some amazing people from right around the world at that. Learning how to get their message out there. Breaking through barriers, breaking down layers, but putting it out to the world. Not being afraid of judgment. Being in, a, in an environment, learning with freaking amazing people to put it out there. Supercharged shit. But after that, it's going to be a lot of stuff from Bali from me. Watch the stuff from Bali because it's going different this time. The last retreats have been amazing. This is going to be huge. What else have we got there? What made me change? What made me stop and want change? What was my first step? My first step was a choice. I just got seriously. Um, what, what can I use? There's so many, so many points where I, I just wanted to change. There's so many push pulls. Emotion from shit from my past was doing my fucking head in, and that's the truth. When you spend time with yourself, and I don't know anyone can agree with this, you're doing the things you love, like me camping, fishing, going away by myself. I love that. When I couldn't enjoy them, there was something up. I started questioning. When I had this temper that was just like fucking that, 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 but there was people around me who didn't have that temper. I was questioned, questioned why, why, why. And it took a spark. It took amazing friends of mine to see what they were doing. I had to see someone with the results that had done, someone who was in beast mode. I had to see it for myself. It's like most of us in the world, we need to see the result. We can't listen to someone like me tell us. You can't be told sometimes because you're like, well, that can't be right. He's just telling us because he wants us to sell, to sell us something. I seen someone living it, changing their life. That's when I thought, I have to do something. There's got to be a way. There was, and a better way. Boom, I threw that in. But it was this, it was beast mode, it was isogenics, the people in the environment. And then everyone, everyone else that showed up along the way. You dive into personal development, a lot of you guys are in it on here. What happens? Your friend circle change. You don't tell them to go away, they just change. People show up in your life that are growing with you. People drop off, and there's nothing personal. But once I made that choice, Andrew, and that's what it's back to. It's a choice, a choice to learn more, a cho choice to ask questions. That's when shit changed. As soon as I got that first little result and I seen, holy shit, I can, I can deal with this stuff. I can move forward. The rest is fucking history. Fishing's where it is. Why do we accept labels without doubting them? Whew. That's a cool question, Emily. Wow. Why do we accept them? Because that's how we're brought up. You're separated in school. When you've got a belief system, and without going into too much detail, a belief system is something you build up. You're born into the world. We're blank. I think we've got like two fears. I don't even know what they are because I don't remember them, of course. But our parents, we learn stuff off them. How to react. We hear noises. We react a certain way. That builds up over time. We go to school or we're baptized into a religion or whatever that is. We trust that. We're kids. We're blank canvases. If we take that on as a belief, that builds up over time. School, like I touched on before, we're separated if we're different. We're all different. We're all unique, but we get categorized. We get put this way. So we react different ways. That's when the labels come in. Seriously, that's when the labels are. Labels are in society, on the news, everything we see. Label, label, label. It's cool that people are dropping off here too, because I've been going for ages. This could go for ages. Mr. Kinnear, how are you? I'm going to wind this up. Um, like I say, just watch this space going forward. This was just me. Like I said in the title, what do I do when I've got something to talk about? I talk about it. I get it out there because I believe it. People want to enlighten me further, please do. But I love what I do. Simple as that. Absolutely love it. Oh, yeah. I want to check something out. Crystal. Crystal. See? Getting ready for the Beast Mode Retreat. It's all what it's about. And yes, this is an absolute advertisement. So thank you everyone for getting on. This is me, Rob. You ain't seen energy yet. Any of you Beast Mode guys that are on this or watch a recording, whoo -hoo, you ain't seen energy yet. This is me winding down for the day. Any, any questions? Thank you, everyone. I really am really grateful for everyone getting on these. This is like random. This is not, not planned. I just felt like I had to talk tonight. I felt like I had to get this out. 
Everyone's on here for a reason, whatever it is. Chrissy Tant, man, we have to chat. That's like straight out with it, man. Um, positivity, it's awesome. Digging into my stuff, man. And anyone who sees the comments from that, it's cool stuff like that that makes you know that I'm on the right track. Anyone who's questioning where they're at, reach out. Ask the question. Ask me. I'm not right with everything, but I know what I've lived. I know what my life's been, what I've been going through. I know what I'm learning. Thank you, everyone. I'm done. It's really late. Bye-bye.